I have the pleasure right now of being joined by Lila Girash, who is the editor of the Journal of Biological Chemistry. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you, Dina. You've got a lot of new things going on, so can you break it down and tell me about some of the truly exciting things at the Journal right now? Sure. There's a huge amount of momentum. This is a time when we're really shooting to reinvigorate JBC. It's a, a journal with a wonderful legacy. It's been around for 110 years, and it's been the pillar of biological chemistry, a journal that many, many people think about as the place they put their first papers or their most important papers or whatever. But, you know, the competition in the landscape of scientific publication is really great, and it's gotten greater over time. So JBC has kind of uh, sat there and thought, we've, we're, we've been around a long time, people know us, and what we're doing right now is we're saying, wait a minute, maybe not everyone does. Maybe we should remind people of what's so good about JBC. So we're doing a lot of that, trying to explain to people why the Journal of Biological Chemistry is the place they should put their papers, what we're proud of. We're proud of the fact that it's a, it's a journal that is associated with a society. It's not a journal that is um, part of a for-profit machinery. So this is one of the reasons we're happy to be here at the experimental biology meeting with the ASBMB meeting going on at the same time. We're amongst our scientific colleagues. So JBC is overseen and reviewed and managed by scientists. That's one of the things that we are reminding people of. We're very proud of the rigorous review process that we put papers through. We're trying to maintain standards of reproducibility and transparency, which is so important. And what we want to be able to tell scientists that their paper, when it appears in JBC, it's been vetted and you can rely on it. We try to tell the whole story. There are some journals that give nuggets, but we basically want to tell the whole story. We also are trying to do what we can to help readers as well as authors so that they can discover the content in JBC. It's a big journal and we're inundated with literature. That's the way science is going these days. There's wonderful, exciting stuff uh, happening in science. So the literature is huge, and we each are trying to find our way to the most important papers. So we're trying to help people navigate and discover, and authors get their work promoted so that others will find it. So you'll see changes at JBC happening that are on, on all of those levels. You'll see uh, efforts to make the author experience easier and continue to reinforce the review process and then efforts to make discovery and make the reader experience better. So all of that's happening at once. We're very busy. <laughs> Sounds very exciting. Given the competition and the rigorous vetting, do you have advice for scientists on, on how really to get something published? Yeah, you know, the important thing is um, these days, and, and always in science, but is to have the data complete to do the kind of statistical analysis and presentation of your data that make it complete and make a reviewer know what you did, explain everything clearly. Uh, it's so important to learn about communication of science. In fact, we're helping authors. We have a project where we give authors suggestions on clarity in their titles and abstracts so that when people submit a paper, they want to be able to make it clear to a reviewer what the significance is. What is the importance of this paper? And then explain clearly what you did and have the data be fully presented and, and have them presented in a way that, as I say, can stand up to the standards of evaluation of those data. And we're doing things, there's a workshop Tuesday evening, which is on basically the do's and don'ts of scientific publication. Another reason we're pleased to be at a meeting is that we can interface with the scientific community to give guidance, just as what you're asking. is How can you do a better job of preparing your paper so that it will go through the publication process and be read and appreciated at the other end as effectively as possible. That clarity, I think, will be very beneficial for, it's crucial. for readers. It's absolutely crucial. It's something that, you know, the, the carrying of the message, we had the March for Science on Saturday, basically carrying a message so that your, your colleagues, the broader circle of scientists, and those outside the scientific circles will understand the purpose of what you're doing and what the meaning is, the significance, the impact. It's, it's something we all have to really work at. It, it sounds like certainly a unique experience for readers. Is there anything else that you have in your goal for them as they look at this journal? Gosh, 
<coughs> it's really hard to say. I just wrote an editorial that came out on Friday, so if anybody wants to look at JBC and the issue for April 22nd, I listed all the things that we're really busily doing for the journal to enhance it, and then I also listed some things that we're thinking about for the future. We're trying to envision what scientific publication will look like in the future, and there are crazy ideas sometimes, dreams, We'd like to make publications living documents. You know, they don't end when you publish, that if there's a follow-up study, they'll be linked. Or if a protocol evolves over time, you'll be able to see that evolution. We want to make the data sharing possibilities greater so that when you have results in your paper, someone else can use them. Not just have a PDF of a figure, but have access to the data behind. These are some of the things we're shooting for in the future. And in the, in the immediate, time, we're basically just looking at this author experience, reader experience, and discovery challenge, and trying to do whatever we can to make each of those work more smoothly. Well, that will not just educate about science, but advance science as well. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. <laughs>